In this video, we're going to explore what happens if you poison the urn of sacred ashes in Dragon Age Origins. Keep watching to see it all. What's up everyone? Big Dan here. I make videos about RPGs like Mass Effect and Dragon Age. I explore hidden dialogue, rare choices, as well as lore and guides. So if you like old school Bioware games, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Retrieving the Urn of Sacred Ashes is a vital task to reviving Arl Eamon in Dragon Age Origins. Eamon plays a major role in the main story and is one of the major figures who helps you organize the war effort. During the course of the quest to retrieve the ashes, you'll run into a group of dragon cultists led by a man named Colgrim. They believe that Andraste has been reincarnated as a dragon, which currently lives on the mountain. This jabroni will ask you to dump a vial of dragon's blood into the urn of sacred ashes, since him and his cultist buddies haven't been able to get through the traps and puzzles in the temple. So let's see what happens when we reach the urn. dreamed I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I, I... I have no words to express. I stand in awe. Really. I could not have asked for a greater honor than to be here. I will never forget this feeling. You fiend! I thought you were a person I was proud to stand beside. I was wrong, and I will not let you get away with this. Nor I. This most grievous of sins cannot go unpunished. Andraste must be avenged. So yes, if Liliana and or Wynn are in your party, they will consider it an unforgivable sin to desecrate the ashes, forcing you to fight them to the death. Now I've heard that if Liliana was hardened during her personal quest before this scene, then you can successfully use an intimidate speech check to convince her to be chill and let it slide. Your coercion skill will still need to be high as well. I haven't tried this personally yet, but it's worth keeping in mind if you want to bring Liliana for this quest, poison the urn, and still keep her alive. So what about Arl Eamon? Well, Homeboy has mad plot armor. Even if you decide to poison the urn, your character will automatically grab a pinch of the ashes before dumping in the dragon's blood. So either way, you'll end up healing Eamon and bringing him back since the main story cannot progress without him. After fighting the guardians and potentially your own companions, you'll encounter Colgrim and the Reavers outside the temple. They will offer the Warden a powerful gift, which unlocks the Reaver specialization for warrior characters. Already, the weight of the past seems to have lifted off the mountain. You are Andraste's night champion. What you have done here will change the world forever. Yes, it would be a grave sin to deny you your just reward. You will share in the power of the dragon. You will become one of the children of the risen Andraste. Behold, the blood of the dragon, drawn from the beating heart of a wyvern. Drink in the strengths of a thousand generations. Hmm, the blood of a dragon is not attained cheaply. Appreciate this gift.
Do you feel any differently? The memories of the blood. A gift from Andraste. The knowledge of our fathers and grandfathers is slowly being passed to you. Even if you leave, you will take us with you. You will forever be one of us. It was the sin of the Imperium that brought them into this world. Let them come and scourge the land to pave the way for the risen Andraste. And when there is nothing left to destroy, we will emerge and build a new kingdom in her name! The havoc you wrought here is forgiven, but the damage to our home remains and must be repaired. Farewell, then. I really like the Reaver specialization, particularly the Frightening Appearance and Devour abilities. Frightening Appearance allows you to stunlock enemies into cowering in fear, and Devour allows you to restore health from surrounding corpses. It's pretty wild stuff, so I'd say it's worth pursuing this outcome at least once to unlock the specialization, but if you don't want to live with the consequences, you can just reload an earlier save after unlocking the specialization, which will remain unlocked for this and all subsequent playthroughs. The Dragon Cult won't pitch in any support to defeat the Blight, so at this point, if you want to, you can also betray them as well. Ah, our champion has returned! Is there anything I can do for you? You would turn on us? After we've bestowed upon you the power granted by the Prophet? If you seek death, then I will gladly give it to you. Our we can learn about the aftermath of this decision from the game's end slides. Rumors that Eamon had been healed with the ashes caused many to talk about it. Eventually, the Chantry sent an expedition to search for the ashes, but nothing was found in the temple ruins. And that's basically it. Eamon survives either way, Liliana and Wynne will attack you, but you can just not bring them along for this part, or harden Liliana beforehand. And you get to unlock a cool warrior specialization. So there you have it. What happens if you poison the Urn of Sacred Ashes in Dragon Age Origins? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Dragon Age and Mass Effect videos. I'm also on Instagram, so go follow me at Big Dan Gaming. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.